Hey man, how are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm on my way to John's right now. I'll probably be there around 9, 9.30 or so. I spent the day with Richie, so. Oh, he's good, he's good. He's just, you know, he's just doing regular Richie things, you know. It's swimming, reading, bowling. Yeah, I think he's lonely. <laughs> I suppose at 90, you kind of get lonely just by circumstance, right? But, uh... I asked him about that, if he, if he thought he'd ever lived this long. And, uh, apparently he's only ever really thought about it once, so... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, 18 years of being a kid, 30 years in the military, 30 years being a teacher, being a parent, grandparent, I suppose. It's not really much time to think about things. You know, something new comes up and you're so busy living, you're not really thinking about dying. But when it did come up, <laughs> Apparently it was when he was he was seeing basic training graduates and their families uh, all laughing and smiling and knowing that most of them wouldn't make it back. Uh, he knew that. He knew it was ahead for them. That uh, didn't leave here and then live in fear minute to minute and die a world away from all they've known. But uh, he just smiled and he congratulated them and he shook their hands. And looking back, he said it was the saddest thing he's ever done. So, you know, I don't, uh, we don't think of our parents as people, you know, and if that's true, it's twice as much better grandparents because I only knew him as an old man. And I, you know, I heard these stories when I was younger and they were just that to me. They were stories because I only knew him as an old man. I didn't know him as, as a tank commander or a science teacher or anything like that. I just knew him as an old man who was getting older and older. And I don't, I don't get to see him very often. I just don't really see him very often. Anytime I do, it might be the last time. And <laughs> I don't know. Being old means being alone, I guess. It doesn't really matter what you do, you just end up being an innocent bystander. And he says it doesn't bother him, but I don't know how. You know, he says after all the all the weddings and the funerals and the graduations and the birthdays and the moving days, but he says he keeps himself busy, he keeps his plate full, schedule packed, but I just it's just a distraction? Is that what it all is? Is that what he's doing? Is that his point? Is he just trying to keep himself busy and preoccupied? Why why doesn't it all bother him? Why does he feel that way? Why Why does he not, and I do, and I have everyone and everything to go? Why? Yeah, no, thank you man, seriously, for answering, I, no, I don't like, I don't like driving alone in the dark, so, thanks for answering, uh, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow, man, 